Hello there, kitties. I'm Kari, the vacuum to word with another one of those videos because today I had a bad situation. I uh, I was going to go on uh, doing my uh, plumbing work at a uh, at a renovation uh, in a city nearby, but I. All I had was a fucking meltdown. I uh, I had a I had a meltdown because uh, because there there was uh, some uh, unexpected unexpected change uh, to to the work I have done uh, already. Even though uh, I I talked uh, about. Uh, how to do it and uh, followed the followed the instructions. I I did my fucking best to to do it right, uh, so that uh, it wouldn't have to be corrected or or changed. <sighs> but I still was supposed to change it uh, today. All all while uh, I had. Uh, I had the, the sewage plumbing uh, work uh, planned for today, and uh, I brought my own uh, my own materials, my own my own supplies, uh, to make sure I wouldn't have to go and uh, and pick uh, anything up from the store because, of course, that uh, that costs time, and uh, I wanted to conserve time. Uh, so that I, uh, I would be able to finish the job I was, uh, I was supposed to do. But uh, unexpected change, yeah. And uh, apart from the, apart from the unexpected change, uh, there was this, uh, there was this loud uh, rap music. Uh, blaring out of the speaker constantly and uh, all this uh, all this while uh, I was uh, trying to gather my thoughts uh, design the, the, the plumbing and the, and then changes uh, think about uh, what I would have to buy and uh, I uh, I didn't see it coming. Uh, it uh, it just m led me to having a fucking meltdown there at work and <sighs> and I'm out of there. I'm out of there. I'm fearing what will come. Next, if I uh, if I will get any compensation for the work that I have already done there, did my best by, but it all it had to happen. I was just uh, I was just shaking, screaming, and crying, and I insisted that I would be able to continue with. Uh, what I had to do, but I was sent back home. I went to the um, autism support center. Calmed down and... <sighs> called, uh, called my f queer friends. Uh, talked with them for, for support. I I spent a few hours there. Got some uh, got some support from one of the one of the girls, one of the friends uh, who who is there. I think every day, Natalka. Yeah, and uh, yeah, when I when I was going there, it was uh, it was pretty close to where. I, where I worked, but uh, when I was uh, when I was riding there, I was just going on a fucking autopilot, like uh, like my mental capacity 
It was almost gone. It was almost gone. I was in such a bad state that... Yeah, and it shows now. It still shows now, even though... Um, even though that shit happened... Nine hours ago. <laughs> I still can't think about it, and I... I definitely got some trauma from that. So, uh, when I when I went down to the support center, I, I had a, a place to sit down, call down, call my friends, <sighs> but uh, generally it's uh, it's also uh, the, the source of uh, the source of uh, anxiety in my life, the, the source of depression. It's uh, it's about uh, functioning in this society and this ec economy, trying to make ends meet. It uh, it's very stressful. It's all it's all very stressful for me. Like. Uh, if, like if I go to work, then uh, a situation like like today, <sighs> it is fucking bound to repeat. It's bound to happen at some point, and then it all finishes. Not to mention that uh, <sighs> I've been looking for a job since. Uh, since November, maybe since October, to no avail. I was uh, sometimes I was invited to interviews and uh, at one corporation, uh, at one at one company named uh, Ant Micro. I uh, I uh, really surprised uh, the engineers with uh, with my knowledge and skills, uh, like. Uh, they were very surprised with, for that uh, for someone without a formal education in electronic engineering, I I knew so much. <sighs> and uh, they also saw my lab when uh, when doing the video interview because uh, because um, that was done on uh, on this very camera that I'm that I'm using right now. And uh, and yeah, uh, to to an engineering mind, uh, an engineering mind uh, can uh, appreciate uh, someone like me. Some even are impressed that I made it uh, out there on Hackaday, but uh, it's mostly. Like uh, like Dave Jones calls them, the R HR droids. Though uh, these are not the droids you are looking for. Like uh, like to those people, to the HR droids and uh, and to the upper management and to the lawyers. Uh, if you don't have the the papers right. Uh, they just ain't gonna take you, they just ain't gonna consider you. I will be trying to get a job at uh, MLC, Mark L. Custom. A, this is a local company that uh, makes uh, guitar amplifiers and effect pedals. I hope I will... I hope that, uh, that they might... Uh, that they uh, take me and uh, well maybe that's gonna lead somewhere but uh, but how the um, this story with and Michael it went uh, as uh, as follows uh, like I sent them my CV and uh, 
they arranged an uh, interview and I did pretty well and then uh, they arranged the, the second interview in the office. Uh, that one I also did pretty well. And then they um, invited me for the third uh, appointment uh, that uh, I was supposed to be signing the employment contract, but um, they had some reservation about my employment history and uh, and also about what I am doing here for about Caritech Electronics and. Um, like uh, like their lawyers uh, uh, they lawyers had uh, reservations that uh, i would be competing doing doing my vintage electronics things all all this while uh, they were doing advanced uh, microcontroller based and F fpga based uh, systems for automotive for space uh, all, all kinds of uh, high-tech industries and caritech electronics never does that i i can do i can do something with an arduino or a raspberry pi and uh, but that would never be a competition for them because uh, the industries that uh, need electronics uh, uh, that's uh, such a vast range of different industries that uh, that I'm absolutely sure that uh, they wouldn't uh, even go into amplifiers uh, or, or something like that but their lawyers uh, they just uh, wanted to have their asses covered um, against uh, confidential information leakage like uh, being being me being carry doing the doing my stuff uh, and uh, and maybe doing this YouTube channel, they would. Uh, <coughs> they thought that uh, it was a risk uh, of uh, confidential information leakage. It's uh, and uh, you know what it is to me. Uh, like uh, when they want me to shut down Kavitak and. You know what it was to me? This is fucking preventive censorship. It's the thing that uh, corporate rats and Karens do. And it's a it's a pity that, yeah. And uh, and also another concern would be that uh, I wouldn't do well in uh, in larger teams. Uh, located in uh, in different uh, offices because they have three offices and then the one here in Gdańsk uh, they are just uh, they are just setting it up and uh, yeah and that was also my own concern another another place where i tried to get employed was um, the municipal uh, art gallery but uh, i uh, i found out i wouldn't be up for the job uh, because it would be sometimes it would be 12 hours a day and uh, and uh, in the open in the cold uh, with uh, with lifting some some heavy load, uh, my body is fucking not uh, up for that. Even though I try, even though I try to stay in shape, uh, I I try to move around. Uh, I live in the fucking fifth floor, with uh, with no with no fucking elevator. If I uh, if I need to get up here, I have to go the stairs. Uh, and the floors here are pretty are pretty high, and uh, and sometimes I I just uh, 
I'm uh, I'm just in a lot of pain from uh, from all this. <sighs> I might be getting too old. Thirty-seven years. Also, I think that. Uh, yeah, also I tried to look for jobs at uh, at the local universities, at the medical university, at the technical university, looking for jobs at, uh, at chemical labs, uh, like uh, that, w because I'm, uh, I've got a master's degree in, uh, in uh, chemical engineering, and uh, and yeah, that uh, doing uh, doing work uh, related to to science would be definitely something for me. But it looks like <sighs> they still don't want to take me. Maybe because I'm trans. Maybe because I'm autistic. So. So what can I fucking do in this situation? If I go and work at uh, at a supermarket, a sensory overload uh, will get me so quickly that uh, I I wouldn't be able to work a week straight in such a place uh, because. Uh, Doing shopping in the, in those places, uh, it's already very hard with uh, with all those bright lights and sounds attacking you from everywhere and uh, and the crowds and uh, and the smells. It's fucking hell. It's fucking hell and <sighs> so I uh, I just try to to do what I can do. Like, uh, if I can uh, work uh, at uh, at renovations or constructions, doing plumbing or wiring, then I will do it because I have the skill. But uh, looks like the skill is uh, is far less than uh, than what it what it takes. Uh, it's uh, it's also the the social skills. It's uh, it's also then the health, both uh, both uh, physical and mental, and uh, when this is uh, uh, when this is in question, <sighs> how can I do any work? Tried to apply for for a disability benefit in uh, in uh, twenty twenty. Got rejected and uh, and then I uh, then I uh, appealed, but uh, when I when I was supposed to have uh, a commission to check me out, uh, the commission was uh, was just uh, cancelled because the pandemic hit, and uh, they made a decision behind my back of course it was a rejection because who else what else could you in expect so then i just tried to make ends meet doing repairs doing repairs and uh, and doing some uh, some construction jobs and uh, both both repairs here in my lab uh, equipment repairs also, uh, also using a uh, platform named uh, Fixly that uh, it also has a bunch of problems around it uh, for for finding <coughs> repair jobs uh, for uh, for customers. But then uh, this is also uh, this is also an issue of mine that uh, I just. I just lack the uh, promotion, marketing, and business skills that uh, I uh, I just uh, tend to overthink everything. Uh, I tend to overanalyze, and anxiety hits me, and uh, I've got a problem with uh, 
naming my price because I I don't want to name uh, too high a price because uh, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't get uh, a gig but uh, I, if I uh, name too low a price uh, I just get burned out uh, all too quickly plus uh, sometimes not all problems uh, are uh, easy or possible to to tackle and uh, sometimes I've got a, a massive uh, imposter syndrome if I uh, if I am faced with uh, with a problem that I can't solve then I uh, then I just uh, tend to procrastinate on the, on the on the task and it's work makes work makes things worse so uh, so this is the the reality of uh, of me being autistic and uh, possibly also uh, ADHD the reality of uh, of trying to to find work and uh, i think that here in poland uh, it's uh, it's even worse than in the states uh, with respect to the the life on paper i i don't have a life on paper because uh, also i think about my uh, employment history that uh, being out of options uh, it it weakens my position uh, so much that uh, most of the the work that I do, it's uh, it's informal, with with, uh, with no employment agreement. I I was hoping that I would uh, finally get a job with uh, with a proper agreement. All I all I did was uh, it was either with no papers or or a uh, commission contract. And uh, <coughs> that's uh, that's the thing that um, that and micro management uh, didn't really like about me. <sighs> anyway, it's time it's time to move on with uh, with doing my my work here, and uh, it's also time to. Thank you all, my my supporters on uh, on Patreon, especially Robert Jonasar, because it means a lot to me. By the way, uh, by the way, uh, about Patreon, uh, there's a there's a thing uh, that uh, bothers me pretty much uh, about uh, how Patreon uh, does. Uh, their their balancing or, or how how they don't because uh, if you're both a uh, creator and uh, a patron you have uh, you have some uh, if you have uh, if you have patrons uh, if you have uh, pledges uh, from them uh, then uh, the Patreon's uh, account balance will uh, accumulate and uh, the monthly monthly account uh, running fee will be deducted from them uh, from that and uh, and then uh, and then you can uh, have a payout anytime you want. Most uh, most often it's uh, automatic payouts uh, at the beginning of uh, of a month. But uh, I was hoping that uh, the the pledges you have uh, as a uh, patron would be deducted from uh, from your 
creator account automatically on Patreon, by Patreon without uh, without reaching for any external sources of uh, financing but it's not the case so the problem is that uh, if uh, if i had a bunch of uh, of pledges made on uh, on the first uh, of uh, January because uh, I upped my uh, my sponsorships uh, for a few creators uh, and joined uh, a few new ones like uh, I got back to ten dollars on on uh, Fran and uh, also upgraded um, my pledges for Mr. Carlson's lab for Usagi Electric and uh, Big Clive uh, and, uh, and joined uh, Dave Jones. Uh, I, w I, was, uh, I was thinking that uh, this would be deducted from uh, the balance I had uh, on Patreon that, uh, that came for, for my patrons, but uh, I didn't have anything on my bank account, uh, I didn't have enough, so uh, Patreon uh, suspended my memberships and uh, I had to renew them. Uh, it's, uh, it's a shenanigans, Patreon's shenanigans. Like, uh, why couldn't they just, uh, <coughs> why couldn't they just uh, have an uh, internal balance and uh, as uh, as the primary source for balancing and then uh, only then reach for uh, a uh, credit card or, or PayPal as a uh, secondary source of financing if uh, if your balance uh, doesn't cover it why can't they do it this way plus uh, i don't exactly know about uh, how it is done in the states how uh, how the law has it and uh, then the banking system has it uh, so i might be i might be wrong here but uh, if uh, if you if you pledge something uh, and it gets uh, deducted from your balance on uh, on Patreon before you it uh, turns into real world uh, money where where you can uh, do something with it, uh, then uh, I guess that. Uh, before it gets paid out, it shouldn't be taxed, and it st still doesn't. Uh, it still gets. Uh, it still gets taxed. Shenanigans! It's shenanigans. So, let me let me look. Uh, what else? Why? Ah, Coco, for crying out loud. What else I was gonna talk about? It was uh, <coughs> it was also a uh, I think about YouTube. <laughs> you can always nag. Uh, you can always uh, moan about uh, what goes on on YouTube, and <laughs> there's always some things to complain about. But uh, this one. Uh, this one is uh, is also about good things that um, that uh, I experienced on YouTube in uh, in January because uh, after I posted my uh, my little Red Devil amp uh, project to Hackaday and it uh, it was promoted by journalist. Thank you for that. All the all the way to Hackaday.com. <laughs> it uh, it got me a few thousands views uh, on uh, on that uh, video 
of uh, of my uh, little red devil lamp, and uh, it also boosted uh, my my channel significantly. I uh, I started January with uh, 300 subscribers, and I now I've got uh, something like uh, 465, I guess. And uh, and then uh, when I when I um, decided to do my first uh, hack chat uh, on Hackaday that uh, I owe about uh, reusing vintage electronics, uh, it, uh, it also contributed uh, to promoting my channel. But yeah, then uh, then it kind of stagnated. I uh, I also uh, was uh, busy doing that uh, renovation work, uh, so uh, didn't make those videos so all, all that often, and and it kind of stopped. Like I stopped getting uh, new subscribers. So uh, any any recommendations I could give to to new new creators uh, to small creators it's it's just uh, don't rely on on youtube's algorithms uh, for promoting your channel and content all you have to all you have to stick with is uh, external promotion extra youtubular recommendation algorithms eras and uh, you you have to Rely on communities like like Discord servers, so like on uh, on Facebook, like on on Instagram. If if you have uh, established uh, presence somewhere else, you can use it for promoting your channel. But uh, counting on uh, on YouTube itself uh, to to promote. Um, your content, uh, especially if it's uh, kind of niche content, like uh, like the thing I am doing here, like uh, vintage electronics, like uh, amplifier building. Who watches that? Who even watches that? <laughs> maybe a handful of aficionados, maybe two handful. Now oh, two handfuls. Uh, it's uh, would I was, I think I I would uh, be for two hands, <laughs> like uh, it's uh, one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, hundred twenty-eight, two hundred fifty-six, uh, five hundred twelve. Uh, so. Uh, I think I could. Uh, I think I could do it with uh, nine bits. And by the way, the cat is biting me. Kitty, would you please for Would you please stop that for crying out loud? Coco, Coco, you're such a sweet cat. <coughs> Mr. Clinton. Okay. So I guess that uh, it will be time to wrap it up. All, uh, all support I could count on uh, from uh, from doing those videos would be from Patreon because uh, YouTube uh, first I'm not eligible for for monetization and uh, then uh, all those uh, all those uh, conditions uh, change. Uh, so rapidly and so much that uh, you can never be sure if um, if you don't get uh, you can never be sure if you if you're gonna get uh, demonetized uh, for something because they don't like it anymore and <laughs> and also uh, it's also I think about um, videos that uh, that are a few months old. 
not just the new videos, but uh, but the archive materials you even forgot about. <laughs> and the and then there's the generative AI. <laughs> Don't you even get me on that one? Like uh, like when I heard uh, that uh, it's now possible to generate uh, videos uh, with a voice uh, of a real YouTuber, then it it really scares me. What if uh, what if someone had an uh, AI? Uh, make uh, artificial big clive videos or artificial ev blog videos or artificial friend videos i don't want to live in this world anymore this is uh, this is the dystopian this is the cyberpunk dystopia unfolding before our eyes uh, but without the cool aesthetics uh, I will. I will keep uh, wearing le leather. Maybe if I can afford it, and then I will get into latex and rubber. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's the dystopia without the aesthetics. Uh, this is the world. Uh, this is the twenty first century. Unlike the the one they had predicted in Blade Runner, for example. <laughs> I would totally look like Rachel, but... <laughs> no, please. It's, uh, it's just a corporate totalitarian uh, regime. On, on one hand, uh, it's uh, corporate uh, totalitarianism, and on the other hand, it's... Uh, religious fundamentalism and i just don't want want to li live in such a uh, world anymore just to let them just go let them, let them just go fuck themselves i had to say it i i i really had to say it because this is uh, this is the the thing that uh, you sometimes have to say it just uh, just fuck it. Okay, that was scary, and this is Coco, the lab, the the lab assistant, <laughs> getting angry at something, as sometimes he does. See you next time, and I think I will be getting a move on with this thing. Coco, stop fucking biting me! Yeah, and did uh, did the chassis markings? See you.